This is a sample application built using Alpha Anywhere. It uses the well-known Northwind dataset, uh, which is one that a lot of developers have used to build sample applications, and you may have built applications like this. Um, there are many tables as part of the data set. Uh, there is a list of customers, there is a list of employees, a list of orders and order details, and uh, you can see here a list that has all of the, um, the customers in it. Um, it shows the city and the country for that customer and the number of orders. And in this particular case, the, um, the entire set of customers has been uh, downloaded and installed as part of the application so that it can run offline uh, as a sample. Normally, you would download on demand just the ones that you need for that day or whatever. Um, so if we take a particular one, let's say here and tap on it, uh, we now see more information about the customer. And if we look down here, we see uh, the grand total of all orders, a few of the, uh, the first orders, um, and then some others. If I tap down there on the order section, you can see a list of the orders um, and, um, um, and some information that tells you what the categories are of the particular items that were ordered. If, let's say, we tap on Margaret Peacock, um, now we're down here and we can look at um, uh, more information about that particular order, who the employee is, the order date, um, and information about um, the, uh, the details of that particular order. If I tap in the upper right on the hamburger menu and go to show customer list, now we're back up to the top and let's look at this in a little more detail. Um, on the right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a little blue slider, and it's a scroller. If you scroll down on it, drag down on it, you can get to any place and, in the list. Um, and this is something provided very easily in Alpha Anywhere. If you come down on it with your finger and then slide in to the left and then pull your finger up, then you can scroll a lot slower to be able to get to a specific um, item if you want. So let's say, let's go right uh, right here and tap on it, and there I am at that particular item. Um, this is useful for getting to the beginning and the end real quick. Um, another thing you can do is we'll go to the hamburger, say sort list, and now I can sort it by uh, company, by city, by country. Um, let's go back by company. Um, and let's tap on the sort button, uh, the, the search button, and here we see there are 91 customers, but if I type in, let's say, USA, and as I'm typing, it's actually doing the filtering. Um, hit enter or return or hit done, and now I have just those from the USA. Um, so let's uh, look at... Uh, uh, the, let's stop and shop over here, and um, we can edit one of them. So here is the contact title as owner. If I type a uh, tap on that, I can delete it and put in, let's say, boss, uh, boss, return. Uh, and notice it indicates that the record was modified. In this particular sample, we're emphasizing the modifications, the fact that it keeps track of changes because we're running in an offline environment where you want to keep track of changes and then at a later point when you synchronize with the server you'll send those changes back and we're going to show that. So let's go here and tap at the top on orders and uh, we can go down, let's go to the second one to Laura and let's change the quantity of the second row and uh, oh plus plus uh, make it five done notice now that particular row is uh, shown as being uh, modified in fact if we go back up one we see with a, a um, an orange that isn't as um, uh, as bright that that particular um, uh, row has been uh, modified uh, has a child that was modified um, 
We can also, uh, let's see, go over here, go to this one. I could tap on quantity and actually get a keyboard. And, uh, oh, let's um, change that all clear, 45 done. Um, and notice it calculates the price, the total. All of these are calculated for you. You can uh, set the discount and percent if you want. Um, and go back up, go back up. And so you can see that things were changed. Um, and also you'll see that there's an orange corner on this row letting you know that that row is modified. If I go to the menu and um, do a simulated sync with the server, what we see here is that if there was a synchronization with the server, this is some of the information that would be sent back. It says that uh, in the table customers, the row with the primary key value, L-E-T-S-S, -S, contact title was changed from owner to boss. And in details, quantity was changed from three to five. And uh, another order detail was changed um, from 20 to 45. If we, um, let's say, go in here and go down to orders, uh, let's add a new, here we have um, a new order. And for this order, let's set a product um, and grandma's boysenberry spread. And uh, let's get oh, 10 of those. And that's good enough. Uh, the employee was Michael and automatically put in the date. And if we want to sync with the server. Now we see that the fact that uh, rows were added to table and rows were added to order details with uh, auto increment left for the uh, order ID uh, is put there. And um, it tells you here that the server code, which was also built by Alpha Anywhere, um, would take the information you see here and would automatically create SQL statements and transactions to be able to update the database. If there are any errors, those errors would be sent back to the app. So this shows us uh, the particular application. And you'll notice that it's formatted uh, with all sorts of interesting format and grouping um, that isn't uh, just your simple list of fields. So let's see a bit about how this was built. If we look at the uh, controls for this application, you'll see that the, um, there's a list. And if we look at the list, this main list one defines how the customer's table is accessed. It also has a detail view, which automatically keeps track of the changes that are made to that list. The scroller is added by checking um, a checkbox in the list properties. This is the list definition for the orders table uh, that accesses the orders table. And uh, here you can see that it has a parent list set. And the parent list is list one. And the linking field is customer ID. This is what uh, sets it up so that it automatically downloads the right information about each, um, about the, uh, the different fields and uh, the tables and uh, takes care of doing the, uh, the updating correctly. And this is the information from the orders detail table. And it, it has a parent list of orders. And the linking field is the order ID. Here are where the forms are defined. There's a panel for each form. And let's take a look at form view 3. Now, form view 3 uses the form builder. Here we see the different elements laid out in a layout container. Uh, where the quantity is one-third across, the, um, and then you have uh, the buttons and the unit price, the discount. Let's look at the total line. For total, we're using the Alpha Anywhere templating facility. You can see a little bit of HTML put in here, and then there is a JavaScript function to calculate uh, the total by taking the quantity times the unit price times one minus the discount, and then formatting it as a number with dollars and cents. The template functionality lets you um, not only have um, JavaScript um, expressions, but you can also have if then else. And there's a looping facility to allow you to go through multiple rows. It's very powerful. You can insert other items. Um, 
just by choosing from a list what type of item you want to insert. Uh, you can bind them to, uh, to different fields if you want. And there are a lot of containers that you can insert to give you fine control over uh, the look and behavior of the fields in a form. And at the top of the screen, um, there is a control bar that you see is used to provide uh, menus of various sorts. And this is all constructed using uh, the new control bar facility that's been added to Alpha Anywhere, where you can just build up uh, um, a set of items and layouts and animate between them and execute actions, all with very little coding. I hope this sample helps you get an idea of what you can do with Alpha Anywhere uh, by relating it to a sample that you've probably worked with before. For more information, go to alphasoftware.com. Thank you.